Everybody, I'm sure, remembers meeting Virginia for the first time. I mean, I remember her. She was late, a little bit late, coming into rehearsal because she had been down to Columbia on one of her many trips to the legislature. And she came in, commanded the authority of the room, and she had these pumps, everything matched, and she was, she took control of the rehearsal, and from the very first downbeat to the end of the rehearsal, I was hooked. Early on, Obviously, the singing Christmas tree. Christmas was her most favorite time of the year. We must not have been singing it uh, with a lot of feeling. So she stopped us and she said, put your music down. And she said, let's talk about Christmas and memories and, and how important they are. She began to tell us the story of her son who had died of cancer at the age of 17 and all of the memories that she had with her family as a child, but also as a mother because of those experiences, the music came out in a magical way, I think, that no 16 or 17 or 18 year old could possibly imagine that they could sing that way. At a very young age, I remember I woke up in the middle of the night and I heard all this rustling in the dining room. I remember distinctly saying, Mommy, what are you doing? She said to me, one day there will be a school for the children to excel in the arts. I think she was very proud of the Fine Arts Center when it got started and as it grew. Um, I recall, you know, her being very proud that it continued on and uh, became what it is, what she had hoped that it would be an extension of the high school. I think her legacy, of course, is in institutions that she, she gave to this county. She would never take no for an answer, both in her personal and career. No to her was new opportunity, and um, she fought for what she believed in and never gave up. She just unearthed a plethora of talented young people, and I think she was so proud of that. When she did her first role at Chautauqua Opera as a very young 19-year-old, it was in Tosca. And the main aria is Visi d'arte, Visi d'amore. I live for art, I live for love. And that's what we put um, on her statue. And when we drove around that day and she saw it, she was like, it's so huge. <laughs> but um, she was very humbled by it. She never expected to be on a pedestal. She really came from nothing and created herself. Virginia is a tour de force. She was dedicated, she was loyal. Virginia loved her family, her friends, her students, her city, her state. My mother was an amazing human being, a very caring person. She was an educator, a great listener. Um, she was an advocate of the arts. She was loving to her students. She loved teaching us about music and about life. She was an unstoppable visionary. <laughs>